what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk men are not perfect as we all know we make mistakes especially from those of us who didn't come from a two-parent home or you know just being a man and understanding the responsibilities of a leader we fall short but one thing is for certain um we try to keep our families together that's why women file for divorce most of the time they're not happy very rarely will a man leave his wife even if you know the the sex is not there or he gains weight or she gains weight you know when we decide that we're going to put our time into a woman it, that's a lot of energy that we've put there a lot of investment that we put there and for us we don't really want to start over again i'm, I'm pretty sure women are the same way in the case of tia maori she didn't want to do that tia maori wanted to leave corey hardrick and let me kind of talk about this because at the time she was talking about hey this doesn't serve me i'm out you know women need to get out of things that don't serve them i graduated from marriage and the whole time while she was saying things like that the brother corey hardrick was saying things like this it's love y'all i love y'all i love y'all for real okay i love my beautiful family love my kids love my wife i love all you guys just know that it's all love okay that's right he's being very respectful to her needs as his ex-wife hopefully trying to save the marriage he was trying to be respectful as that is his children's mother he was being mature while tia maori was being relatively immature liking people's comments that are dissing him things like that well they bumped into each other a clumsy encounter both of them were at the essence black women in hollywood awards on thursday and i want you to see the encounter that they had you can see that um okay there you go let's let's hug it was cringe right she he gave her the church hug and this is people that used to be together they have kids together they used to to, to, to love each other okay but see here's what you're not seeing when you see that and i'm gonna i'm gonna break that hug down okay from a, a man that that gave her the church hug one of that's about i'm explaining you see ladies when you divorce a man or break up with the man you disrespect him you go out and you make these things out about him saying things like oh these kids i live for me you know i live for these kids uh, you know i'm giving them a better outcome than what they have but what i had when i was coming up in other words you know in many other ways disrespecting the father that's what happened okay so the first thing is you disrespected this man secondarily well you haven't been successful since you left him you see let me tell you this want to get back at a man want to make a man jealous want to make a man double think or make sure that he didn't lose the right woman want to make a man second guess his choices go and get a man who is better than the one that you got that's a good way to do it want to make a man really feel like damn man i should have kept her go out there and get a man who makes more money than him who is smarter than him who is who may be even better looking better in shape that'll make most men think oh this is i, I missed out on a great opportunity could not be true but you know what happens <laughs> it never happens does it guys nope not really think about your ex-girlfriends or your ex-wives not saying that it can't happen but if your ex-wife ex-girlfriend you have kids baby mamas how many of them have you seen that have went on to a better situation than you and they broke up with you okay not saying you were perfect because probably you're not perfect probably you are problematic but what has happened to them since you uh oh let's discuss the elephant in the room nothing has happened for them romantically okay what 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 we find out many times as men is that some of the exes while they want to hold us accountable and again a lot of the things that women say about men the lack of romanticism the lack of attention to detail hey listen when you want to be in a relationship with a woman it is hard work i, I mean hey a woman wants you to be everything that maybe you don't feel like you can be you need to go out there and get all the money. You need to go out there and, and get the resources, uh, be mature, and spend a lot of time. Some black men, we just don't understand what is uh, deemed necessary of us. And it's hard, okay? It's hard. Women demand a lot from men. But one thing is true. 
if that woman leaves you and she does not look at her own faults and you can somehow rectify that, you can recognize that because normally they don't. Normally people in general don't think they're the issue. Usually people feel like somebody else is the issue. And then there's only one way to find out. Well, let's see where you do after me. Look at what Jay-Z told Dame Dash. He, Cause Dame Dash said, man, I made you. He said, make another one. Clearly Dame Dash can't make another one. Dame Dash has been nothing but awful. He's a joke. Everyone knows Dame Dash is a joke. We all know. And in the same vein, if we look at what Tia Maori has done in the last year or two, going around complaining about men, the dating market is trash. She wants somebody to treat her like a queen. What's happening to love? Why are men not treating women like they want them? Well, here's something, honey. Men aren't treating women like they want them. The ones that they that they want. See, the, the reality is, baby, you, you're not bringing what it takes for the kind of guys that you want. And how can we notice that? By the fact that you can't get anybody that you want right now. And do you know what? Wonder who realizes that? Corey Hardrick. Corey Hardrick was like, wow, I used to love her. I ain't been around her. Whoa, I kind of like my life better when I see her. Uh, you know what? Don't got no time for it. <laughs> Wanna know why? Hmm. <sighs> Don't nobody. Don't nobody. Don't nobody else really ain't really checking for her like that. So <laughs> if ain't nobody else really checking for her like that, why should I check for her in that way? Okay? Why? Why should I? I mean, obviously, since I left, I've left. She, she ain't did much. If she really wants to make me feel like I'm missing out, where's the guy better than me? But here's the funny part. And this is what women get mad about. Here's what women get upset about. The guy himself, okay? As soon as you say that, a guy says, well, since I've been, I ain't been dealing with her. <laughs> hey, my life has been better. Actually, I've been getting ladies that's actually down with the program more than she was. Man, the best thing she could have did for me was to leave me. And you know what? I hate to say this. How many guys can honestly say, my wife left me. I really want to go back and get married. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I many, 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 many guys don't. What am I getting? Hell, I'm getting everything I was when I wasn't married. You know, hey, this lady didn't show me a lot of respect. She disrespected me a lot. Treated me as if I was a nobody. A lot of, see, a lot of these guys can't come out and say that. They can't come out and be honest. There are so many men that have been disrespected. Um, you know, their wife kind of feels like, well, you know, I carried you. And, and in the first place, if she was dealing with Corey Hardrick when he had nothing, that already proved that she was already on the, off, or on the wrong foot. What about before he got there? Whose fault was that? So now the guy doesn't really need you anymore, and he's glad you're gone. Thank you. And when you go back and look at like how they're doing now, you're like, oh man. <sighs> Damn, bro. Wow. So guys, what do you think it's your boy Shitty Jackson? Back at it again. Fill episode of the Subway John. Pretty sure you just heard the bell. We're out.